WTIC 522 WTIC or star WTIC at 724. Okay, Coach, uh, this is our kind of motivational speech for the day, for the week. Alden? Good morning. It's time once again for our Saturday morning coaching session on getting into action with your star power. Ready? Well, yeah. Well, let's get going. It's spring cleaning time once again, but I do not mean around the house and yard. I am going after your beliefs today. Hmm. What you hold to be true may be holding you back. Every day there's another story in the news that could cause a person to believe their future is diminished, dangerous, and dreary. But not us. Goodness is happening. You are important. You count. And you may be the one who has been given a world-changing vision of goodness. This week I had the opportunity to meet and hear Jessica Jackley share her story about Kiva.org at the University of Hartford. What we believe is what is possible has become a driving force in Jessica's life. Now, Ray, before she's 25, way back in 2005, she brought to life the world's first peer-to-peer micro-lending process, enabling any of us to help finance an entrepreneur among the world's poor. Goat herder, weaver, shopkeeper, people with a dream who only need a hand up to get started. So with just two partners... Right out of school, they designed a website that shared the stories of seven entrepreneurs in Africa with their family and friends and brokered the lending of $3,000. One year later, $500,000 had been lent. And one year after that, $30 million. Good Lord. To date, $205 million has been loaned to 535,000 entrepreneurs, 81% of them women, across every major country with a 98% repayment rate and 90% of the investors keep their money in the system. Average loan, $380. Jessica is now starting a new company called profounder.com to enable entrepreneurs in this country to raise their necessary seed capital. This is a woman of vision and drive. She did not come from wealth or privilege. She got excited about helping people create tiny revolutions in their lives, and she set out to do what no one had done before. So what about you? Jessica has learned that what we believe is what is possible. She lived in East Africa to understand the poor and discovered that they want to work hard but had no access to capital. They see themselves as entrepreneurs making something better for tomorrow. They believe that they can cause tiny revolutions in their lives. Do you? Jessica had a liberal arts background, no economics, no finance, nothing in microfinance, no social services, no business, nothing. But she had passion. She's a good thinker. She sees possibilities and asks, why not? But many people are surrounded by families and friends who say, why not? Let me tell you why you cannot do this. (laughs) Take time. You know, it's time to get all that negative talk and spring clean it into the trash. Time to become your biggest fan. Time to believe you and your ideas. Here's the truth. You are unique on the planet. Only you have the combination of experiences that let you see possibilities from your perspective. It is time to overcome the naysayers in your life and listen to the stories of success. I have posted 11 stories to encourage you. Several are teenage millionaires. When you go to myvaluetree.com, Click on the link above the WTIC logo and you will get access to them. The first story is about Fraser Doherty, a high schooler in England who has single-handedly revitalized the jam industry. Wow. He started making his grandmother's jams at home after school, and today he is a runaway success. You can't help but feel encouraged listening to this kid. The great thing we can learn from teenage success stories is that they did not know enough to know that they could not do it. We know that you can't transform the jam industry in England, so why would we try? Frazier didn't. He just knew he made great jam and everyone would want to try it. So what truth do you hold that is holding you down? Jessica's story is posted there as well. At 25, who was she to think she could do anything in the world of microfinance or even begin to help the poor in other countries? She's not a powerful NGO that knows best. Good thing she didn't get the memo. What do you hold to be true that's holding you down? From Jessica, we learn that when other people say cannot, she said, why not? We learn that passion creates drive and drive overcomes obstacles. 
Don't think in terms of failure. She says they're just iterations of learning on the path to your dream. She shows us that a single person can bring great goodness into the world. And we also learn that she herself has become an entrepreneur as she launches her new venture called ProFounder.com, a web space where you can raise seed capital from friends and family through a structured program. Make sure you're reading and learning every day. This is how you feed your ideas and thoughts. Get into the verge that we talked about last week. Be encouraged to be creative with your life. Clean out the beliefs and the people in your life that are holding you down and get ready to cause tiny revolutions that will let you spring forth just the way the daffodils have. Please listen to the stories of the people I have posted for you at MyValueTree.com. They are so encouraging, it will make you feel good about what's possible for you. You can do it. I'm Coach Davis. You know, some people say, look at the world as, as it is and say, why? I look at the world as it as it is and ask, why not? No, oh, something like that. Who said that? Oh. <laughs> No, I, I look at the world. That was almost so good. I look at what never was and say, that eh, ain't going to work either. <laughs> there, yeah. All right, it's... Uh, t- <laughs> Let's have another donut. Let's have donuts, yeah. <laughs> thanks to thanks to a Luke's Donut Shop and Avon, the official purveyor to his majesty here. Oh, it's yeah, uh, the to the royal wedding, as a matter of fact. They're the purveyors of donuts to the royal wedding for the breakfast <laughs> brunch. All right, it's uh, 7.30 on WGIC. Let's go ahead and do the news.